Okay, so I got a uh, McLean uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1 face gel. And some of you are thinking, what? Do you already have one. Well, this was an untrimmed one. The trimmed one obviously fits my frame better and prevents the spandex from being overstretched, etc, etc. But I, I'm weird. So, sorry about the echo. I'm always freaking recording in here because the lighting is better. But I flipped it upside down so you don't see my address and I got so ghetto. I opened it up with a seam ripper and it worked. Wow, so ghetto. Yes. And uh, I got a flawed McLean um, suit. It doesn't come with a mask and it's missing the belt. So like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. TBH. But main point, the face shell. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, snap. Oh, goddamn, son. Really, brah? Magnet's missing. Gee, that's nice. Don't tell me the magnet's in there somewhere. You know what? They never even said that, that the magnet was missing. I'm gonna kill myself. Brah, $300? For a missing magnet? Are you joking? I'm JK. I'm just kidding. One moment, I'll be right. I'm sorry about the in that interruption, but what I actually found out was actually the magnet popped to the other magnet. But that happened on my Elfette one, the one that I bought off of Elfette, this one. Um, and I just super glued it back on. It'll happen because the magnets are so freaking strong. I mean, McLean did a great job. But this, these are my other ones. It's fine. Um, these ones are surprisingly missing the magnets as well. Cries. Anyways, WTF happened with the other one as well, but luckily I have a backup set, so it's amazing it does that. Whatever. Um, yeah, and they'll pop off because it's only hugging onto plastic instead of um, hardcore like plexiglass, like the ASM2s. But I mean, it's good to have backups. You could always just buy the magnets and glue them back on yourself. It's no big deal. It's, it's good to have a backup. Um, but I love these shells to death. Like, I'm a big fan of McLean. I love his work. Uh, and, and don't kill me because I bought another one and someone else wanted it because, you know, first time I ever bought on the RPF and I'm a Spider-Man addict. Uh, let me show you what it looks like on the full version. How much it covers your face. Ah! Ooh, goddamn, this one's a little lighter. Actually, it stays on better than my ASM2. But of course, with heat and whatever area you're at, I, I'm sorry, my hair, you know. The shape's obviously different than um, your uh, ASM2s. The ASM2s have a square jaw, and uh, this one's more rounded. I think it looks sick, and uh, I'm definitely gonna have to buy some new knife magnets. It's not a big deal. I bought this one for 300. The other one that was trimmed, I bought for 500. My ASM2 was 500 as well. It looks sick AF. Brah, like, don't kill me because I love them. So inside, it looks the same. It's just a bit bigger for bigger heads and stuff. I mean, both of all of them fit me fine, but the smaller one would probably prevent stretching because the masks that I get can be really, really tight. And uh, the other ones, the other one fits me probably more proportionally accurate. I don't think I'd want to sell it. Unless someone offered me pretty good. Like, even when I'm wearing this, I can feel space here. And when I'm wearing the smaller one, there's, like, no space. So this one probably won't even fit me in a mask. My SM2 can barely fit in my, um, uh, turn off the dark mask. Yeah, my hair's getting long. <laughs> I don't even care. Uh, but, uh, you know, that SM2, or SM1 suit by McLean right there. It looks like it might fit me, but the problem is there's no zipper and no mask, etc, etc. I'd probably have to go around and some people probably bought mask patterns from him. I could probably get, but that I don't know what size it is, honestly. It it looks like he could fit me. 
Would I want to sell it? Maybe, if someone's interested. I don't know. I could probably pop paint it if I wanted. I, it, it seems to be really good quality spandex. The colors are ex extremely vibrant, but um, these ones are more faded for some reason. Um, I can definitely tell. They're about the same. Yeah, they're exactly the same. Uh, just, I have to fix the magnets on it. Excuse me. I could probably just fix the magnet on one of them and buy an extra magnet. It's no big deal, really. You have extra stuff, you could just buy extra magnets, etc, etc. Um, but I'm really happy with this. So, uh, I'm sorry, whoever wanted this on the RPF, I bought it off of Fiscal. I was the first one to offer them 300 and he's like, hey, you're the first one, sure, I'll sell it to you since you're the first one. But everyone else agrees that it's the right price. And then I sent it to him and he shipped it to me uh, two day shipping uh, with insurance and he gave me the tracking info. It was really awesome, really nice. And McLean is actually more active. Well, he became active again because, um, you know, he's been busy and stuff. And uh, hopefully he's going to be selling some different kind of shells, which aren't these red urethane, red pinkish urethane ones. These ones are going to be more rare to acquire because he stopped making them. Uh, he's doing them out of black uh, ABS plastic, which is like T-Jax. Now, but I really, these ones are my favorites. I'm not going to lie. These ones are my favorites and they're always going to be because they're like pinkish red and they're out of this cool gear theme. They're like really soft. I don't know what it is about them, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching.